Yeah, you're listening to and watching the Fat Billion Minutemen with me, Aizil, and I'm assuming Zan Azli. Yes. Uh, this week, we'll be talking about political donation laws in Malaysia. Okay. Okay. So yeah, uh since since uh the issue is rife. R- rife. Uh. <laughs> yeah, the issue is okay. hot in the media right now. Yeah, la. because last week uh in the past year la, political donation has been an issue in Malaysia la. Yeah. So we thought we'll catch you up under in under a minute, we're gonna tell you everything you need to know about political funding laws in Malaysia. Political donations in Malaysia. Yes. And uh shall we start the timer? Yeah. Okay, we're going to start the timer. So, under a minute. Right? Under a minute, we're going to explain everything you need to know. And the time starts now. Okay, no, there is no political funding uh, regulation currently in Malaysia. Mm -hmm. Uh, The closest thing that we have, the closest law that touches on the topic that we have is the Election Offences Act 1954. Right, okay. Uh, But that, I think, only states that a maximum amount that candidate it only states a maximum amount that candidates can actually spend during the campaigning. Yeah. So and this is, this is both for parliamentary, uh, and, parliamentary and state. Uh. Yes. Okay, okay, uh, okay. The maximum amounts are 200,000 ringgit for a parliamentary seat. And 100,000 for state seat. Yeah. So how many elections have you covered so far? None. I've covered many. I've yeah. covered three, I think. Four. Okay. Uh, they spend a lot, man. Oh, okay. I, I don't know lah. It looks like they spend a lot. It looks like they spend more than that. But anyway, okay, go on, go okay, on, go yeah. on. There are no limits to donation amounts political parties are allowed to accept. No limits. Yeah. No limits. No duties are imposed. No duties. Uh, no duties. And there are, there's no need for them to disclose to this to <laughs> one minute to regulatory one minute authorities. You've you've you got everything already. Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay, yeah, please. That, that's, that's pretty much it. Yeah, there are no regulation. There's, there is no regulation in Malaysia right now. Uh-huh. So, um, the only thing is that how much they are allowed to spend is limited. Yep. Not how much they are allowed to receive. Mm-hmm. Uh, and how much they are allowed to spend is for that campaign period. Yep, yep. That's for it. Uh, I know that uh, if you look in the recent past, uh, Pemandu has been trying to propose that there be, you know, clear regulations when it comes to political donations. Yes. Yeah, they, they've, been, I don't remember, they've been pushing for that. Lah, yeah. You know? Yeah. Uh, in August 2015, uh, it was announced that a National Consultative Committee on Political Funding mm-hmm. uh, was formed. Right. Okay. Uh, and at that time, uh, uh, it was said that it would take one year to have to prepare the things they need. So that means this was formed kind of like in retrospect of all that has happened, ah, <laughs> uh, I guess so. But the thing is, it was in news reports. There was it was also said Najib was quoted saying that uh, they previously tried to to suggest these laws, but were objected by the opposition. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, I remember, I remember. Yes, yeah, yes, yes. But, he but did then, say that. But but then what actually happened? I I I don't cover. I don't, I don't know every single day that uh, went by in Parliament, lah. Yes. So who knows what actually happened, lah. <laughs> Yeah, so uh, the Prime Minister also said that the new rules based on what the committee uh, suggests will be come into effect before the 14th general election, which is... Are you excited about the coming general election or the next general election? Um, okay lah. I, I'm, I'm quite I, I feel excited. like a lot of things are up in the air lah. Everything is mm. up in the air still, so... So it will be quite exciting. Yep. Uh, 2017 or 18 lah. Yeah, around that time lah. By that time, I think yeah. they're supposed to have it. Yeah. Yeah. Well... I'm excited about the Sarawak election. That's happening end of March. Yeah, I mean. So, yeah. yeah. Look, we, we almost got it done in a minute this time. Yeah. We almost. Uh, we but, almost. but everything you need to know was actually in that one minute. Lah. Yeah. Whoa. Uh, so, the reason we brought this up was because recently, uh, the Attorney General cleared uh, uh, the Prime Minister, Dato Sri Najib Razak, of... Uh, uh, in the probes, they said that the, there was no... The, the case was closed. Yeah. When uh, based on the M, 
they were satisfied that there was no corruption committee, and yeah. hence they called for the case to be closed. There was no laws broken. Yeah, so, yeah, so the case so, is closed. Yeah, but interestingly, uh, everybody keeps talking about 2.6 billion, right? Yeah. Uh, the investigation stated it as uh, 2.08 billion. billion. Yeah. Uh, and apparently he returned 2.03 billion. Yeah. And if my math is right, that means that uh, 50, mi- 50 million ringgit was utilised. Mm. So, yeah, it's whatever. Everything mm. you need to know. Minute main. Mm-hmm. So if you like what you see or hear, please share this link with everybody you know. If you don't like it, please torture everybody by sharing this link. Yeah. Uh, follow us on all our social media platforms. Handle at Fat Bidin. While you're doing that, you can right. also suggest uh, topics you would like oh, to know please, more about. Oh, please, please do, please do. Yeah. yeah. Suggest topics. If you've got any a- additional information, please also Chant, add. Yeah. You know, if you don't like our face, please also s- mention that. Mm. At least some comments. La. <laughs> yeah. Thumbs up if you oh, want. Oh, yeah. Somebody say well. we're doppelgangers. Well, look at us today. Huh? Nothing alike. <laughs> So yeah, you've been listening to and watching the Fat Bidin Minute Man with me, Aiza, and I'm assuming Zan Azli. Yep. See you again next week. Bye-bye. Bye.